The big story still is the Brooklyn Nets and what in the world is going on and what in the world will go on there. And um, interesting comments by Adrian Wojnarowski. Obviously, as plugged in as it gets in the NBA. Here are a few things he said, Rob. I, I want your responses. Here's one thing he said that kind of motivated Kevin Durant and his decision to request a trade so soon, quite frankly. Woj, Golden State winning the championship this season and just the flood of criticism and second-guessing that landed on Kevin Durant, I think it contributed to a tipping point. He goes on. The Warriors winning a championship played a factor in this. I think it exacerbated Kevin Durant's frustration. I think the narrative that surrounded him that he dealt with in the aftermath of him leaving Golden State and then going on to win a title without him contrasted with what has gone on in Brooklyn in these last three years. Rob, your thoughts? Yeah, I, I mean, it's speculative. I mean, I, I, I don't know. Unless I'm you're guessing, talking. though, he's spoken to somebody. Right. But, that, but I, unless you spoke to Kevin, um, yeah, but like, don't you like, think if an agent if an agent is saying that I don't know that he did no, speak I don't, to Rich I, I, Kleiman, I, I, but you know I don't what know. I mean? Yeah, I, you might be right. I just uh, I I think as a tipping point, he, so he was he was upset at the criticism he got after uh, they got knocked out in the first round and Golden State won. So now, what about the criticism that he's a quitter and and he right. runs and cuts right. and runs? This I is mean, worse. I, this is worse, Chris. This to me, this is worse. Uh, so I don't understand the thinking of that. How does this erase or make that better? And and again, you can go look around. I don't know where it'll wind up, and 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 I'm not so sure where they'll fit in or what team it fits in. But I, I agree with you that if you look on paper, what he had in Brooklyn probably represented his best chance. So I I, I don't know where he's going. Maybe it winds up. On, on the Warriors or something, and they win four championships and everybody what, Let me ask good. you that, and obviously that's not happening. No, I know. What if he did, I just again, hypothetical. If he went to the Warriors, what would your thoughts be? Other than probably not watching the NBA until he retires? Would that, <laughs> can, I, can I say that honestly? It I would mean, not be on. competitive. No, it, it just, Chris, it would be... Uh, the Harlem Globetrotters and the Washington Generals. Uh, but here, that's, here's, that's what we got. I don't I, know if you saw this, though, Rob. From Bleacher Report, this came out. Uh, I'm trying to find this this uh, latest report. Uh, yeah, Bleacher Report is saying that Kevin Durant only wants to go to Miami if Jimmy Butler, Bam out of Bayou, and Kyle Lowry are still on the roster. Well, okay. <laughs> I mean, this is I, getting ridiculous. It, it's it's does Do he you want to compete? Yeah, but also, Chris, does he understand how trades work and, and like the yeah, I, yeah, like he he he? I think he's confused in trades and free agency. Yeah, like hey, it, yeah, go ahead. It, it doesn't make sense. What what is let, he? What is he let me respond about? to this Woj comment about okay. the Warriors winning it being the tipping point and the criticism he received. I do. I, if you watch Woj on television, he's very careful with what he says. And so I do think he's talked to someone in KD's camp, probably his agent, and gotten these words. Or maybe he talked to somebody with the Nets who relayed to them what KD said. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but... I don't think this is just Woj speculating. I, I think this I is based hope not. on talking to somebody. Right. I would right. hope not. Right. Um, to put that out there and you don't, you haven't talked to anybody. I mean, you, you can say that. I think, you know, but he, yeah. he, did, he said, um, you know, he said it as kind of matter of fact. Or he did say I think it contributed to a tipping point. But, you know, Woj isn't really, Rob, in the business of speculation. We're in the business of opinion speculation, things like that. But he's more of a reporter. So that people take what he says as a report, and he understands that. So I think that's one reason he's calculated with what he says. So I do think it came from someone. 
And Rob, like you said, here's the di- this is what doesn't make sense about this. Your best chance to win is with Brooklyn. Right. Period. I mean, you got Kyrie, Ben Simmons, assuming he comes back. Seth Curry, Joe Harris, you got shooting. I like a couple of the moves they made. Royce O'Neal. Right. They brought back Nick Claxton and Patty Mills. Like, if you have the two, three stars, if we count Ben Simmons, they got a nice group of role players around him. And so what I think has happened, Rob, is I think that Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant were in touch during Kyrie's negotiations. And Kyrie probably was like, look, ain't, there's no way I'm leaving $30 million on the table. So I'm going to sign with the Nets. But I, I'm not playing another game from him. I, I think that's I, this is not from anybody telling me this. That's really the only thing that makes sense to me. It would be one thing if KD had soured on playing with Kyrie. If he's upset because of the anti-vax stance that Kyrie had that kept him from getting vaccinated or, you know, taking hiatuses during the season a couple years ago. If KD had just like, man, he's not reliable, I'm out of here. I would get that. But with Kyrie opting in, Rob, there's not a better situation on paper unless you go to a situation that is so lopsided that, to use your words, you're not even going to watch the NBA. Right. And that's Golden State. Or if he were somehow to get to the Lakers with Kyrie, and it'd be LeBron, Kyrie, and KD. Now, I'll say this. I, I, as great as they be, I don't think that's a lock championship. I, I don't I don't think anything involving, first of all, KD gets hurt often. Right. Uh, LeBron. LeBron gets hurt often. Both of them. LeBron's been hurt three to four years in L.A. KD's hurt, been hurt, Chris, right? Three years. Here's the funny thing, Rob. Uh, yeah, quickly, I mean, these are just Not five. to interrupt you, not to interrupt you, but quickly, to bolster your point. We made a lot out of Kyrie playing 103 of 226 possible games. KD's played 90 right. of the 226. So I, I'm sure that was a part of Kyrie's negotiation. And and I would that would be smart, right? Well, hold on. You're balking at giving me the max? When yeah, but, you gave it to Kevin Durant, and he, he's played fewer games than me? I'm but, with you. I get it. I, I will stick with the Nets on it. But right. I'm just saying, if I no, were right, in Kyrie's right. shoes, that would be I would his argument. Right. But my argument back would be he was injured. You decided, right, and, and whether – Politics. Dude, <laughs> right. You decided not to get – which is fine, but you derailed our season, okay? Right. That's, you could look at it any way you want. You have a right. Every, even and, – and I would have said, even Wiggins didn't want to be vaccinated, and guess what? He got vaccinated so he could play in San Francisco, Chris, and guess what? He made yep. the all-star team, and his team won the championship. Yep. You could – Yep. He made a sacrifice. Did it pay off for, for Wiggins, Chris? It did. Yep. Yep. No, so. Where would the so, Warriors have been without Wiggins this year if he didn't play? Maybe they don't win. Right. Oh, he was a big part. No doubt. Yes. Here's the other thing, Rob. So I, I, it baffles me if this is true from Woj that you would leave the Nets if indeed, unless you knew Kyrie's not going to play. And Kyrie is going to be a whole issue next year. Or, or let me ask you this, and and that's legitimate. But let me just push. I'm a pushback. Could it be that, I, and I don't know where their relationship is, Chris, that he just can't do the Kyrie anymore? Like I know there was a story that they want to play together, but it just seemed after Kyrie had opted in for him to say, okay, I don't want to be here. It could it possibly be. Well, that's the first I, I thought. That's I the most I logical thing. Yeah, I can't do Kyrie anymore. This guy burnt, killed me last year, right? Cost me a year. I'm going to be 34 in September. The clock is ticking. This guy played around, uh, you know, uh, and, and I, don't, no, I, I just I can't count on I get what you're saying. Him. I mean, that, that would make sense. 
So I hear you. And the only thing that pours water on that are these reports, no, I which get are it. just, you know, verbal reports, really, right. from, from reporter insiders that they want to play together. Um, maybe KD in, in his friendship with Kyrie is letting that be out there. KD's not really moving, Rob, like he wants them to play together, right? His right. two teams, his Lakers weren't one of his teams. His teams so that, are Phoenix right. and, and Miami. So, so that, you that may doesn't be right. match up. Right. That's what I'm you, saying, Chris. Right. It might, it's it might be that. Sure. That it's he's very just possible. like, I don't want to, I'm, I'm done. You that know what? would make a lot more sense. He convinced me to come to Brooklyn with him. And then when we get there, okay, forget about the injury. Forget, and then last year when we had Harden, oh, no. it, it's just this it, it, past, You know absolutely. what I mean? Like you had everything ready to go. This is before you, and 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 we're all waiting. You remember? Even Harden was like, "Yeah, I'll go to with Kyrie and and I'll stick the needle in." You remember? Right. Like, right? Oh they yeah. They all Harden, thought he was going to be a was, part of. Yeah, it. excited. Absolutely. Here's the other thing, though, Rob. Kevin Durant has to, and look, one of the maybe mistakes he's made in this request for a trade is that he he has no control over where they send him. No. He doesn't and have they, a no trade. And what if they send you to a team you don't want to go to? Are you going to sulk there too? Now it, you're on two. I mean, are you really you pull a James Harden? Is that what we're looking at? It it's a it's a you just wonder about the thought process Chris that went into it prior right. with with the agent and this notion that these 12 or 15 guys you can't be traded for. So that, you know, like yep. stumps where you can Did go. Did they even know that? Did they really know that? And you just right. question it. Because really, I wouldn't have announced it. I would rather that a, a trade happens in the middle of the, you know what I mean? Where it right. just happens. Right. And don't put it out there uh, because you know that you can get a deal done. But when but when you put it out there now, it's it's hard to take it back. And I do think the Nets... Should not have said, "Okay, we agree that we'll we'll try to trade you." Now you may differ because your view is if you don't want to be here, I don't want yeah, you here. I mean, if I, I'm the Nets, me. I would have been like, "We're gonna do what's best for us." No, I'm still gonna and do what's you, best for, yeah, for, I mean, for me. I'm not gonna give right them away. Now, KD, look, we'll consider it, but right now you should plan on showing up for training camp. And if we find a deal, we'll get you know we'll start working with you if we find something, talking with you about it, but. Our t- our priority is what's best for this team, and it, right now you're you one of the best players in the league. Right, so I and can't we're not giving you, you away. Right, we're right. not giving you away. And we're gonna move you. But Rob, if you want to kill the noise that you got easy rings in Golden State, I mean, the Lakers. Now again, they're in fairness to KD, they're not on his wish list. Kyrie, LeBron, and KD going out winning the championship does nothing to dispel that from KD's image. Um, I mean, there are are some other plays. If he went to Phoenix, Rob, with Chris Paul and Devin Booker, and they won it, I mean, I think that would be be a good accomplishment. Um, I don't think it would be the equivalent of him going to Golden State. Right, but some people would look at it like this is a team that was just in the finals. It's a team that was the best regular season team in the league a year ago. You know what I mean? And right. so he just he, he, and I hope KD doesn't want it to be handed to him on a silver platter route. But it's kind of looking like that.